cutter chart. Okay. So here this particular chart is used used for analysis of a huge volume of data in a single frame. In a bar chart, if you have thousand items, you cannot accommodate in a single screen. You should have a scroll bar. Whereas here, the scatter chart, the entire items will be encapsulated in the frame and they can be seen in a single object. However, you can uh, you can simply uh, you know take uh, the specific portion of the chart and you can zoom it out to get the detail of the data. Or else you can go back to see the entire screen. So let's start with the scatter plot. It is very interesting chart. It is so beautiful. So I will take some data which is huge in nature. Say probably I have this order number. I have thousand completely thousand orders I have here in this table and I will take other measures. So I repeat it needs three different measures and one dimension. Minimum three different measures is needed. So normally in a chart we used to have dimension in the x axis and measure in the y axis. Right. But here in this chart we will have measure in the x axis measure in the y axis and another measure which will make this sphere circle size bigger and smaller that will be defined by the third measure and the number of circles will be displayed based on the number of data in the dimension so let's see I choose the scatter plot chart then I will have to choose the order number whereas I have completely 1000 order numbers here. So I have 1000 order numbers so particularly 1000 circles will be displayed on the screen. Few circles will be smaller in nature in size and few circles will be bigger in size. That will be defined by the measures of the circle. Okay, Measures of the chart. So let's start with, uh, this is, uh, I have added this delivery order number, the first dimension. Then I have to add the three different measures. First measure I will just take here is the sales. See, the items which you can list it here in the screen, you can differentiate based on the icons defined on the items. So uh, differentiation can be made based on the icons. Here you can see the summation sign. These are basically the measures because they are numeric values. So at the first choosing the net amount. So you see here this chart is not even complete. There are thousand orders are showing here. So I'll also add the, the second one measure is quantity. So, <coughs> so you see I have net amount added, quantity is added. So in the y x axis net amount is there in the y axis quantity is there. So x axis, y axis both are having the numeric values. And the, the, the number of circles are showing here are the number of order numbers are defined in the dimension. Now the third measure which I will add here will define the size of the circles. The bigger the size will define the bigger the volume of the data and smaller the size is the reverse. Say I will take the average uh, sales, there is a field called average sales. Average cost of the item. I will take this as a third measure. So let's see and uh, let's see how it is looks like. It is becoming so clumsy here. Let's take something else. Probably data. See. So the items are becoming too bigger. So bigger the uh, circle size is defined as the bigger volume of data.
get more voltage there. Okay. So what would make sense? So what will make sense? The items, thousand items are scatterly plotted on this chart and the items size are different based on the volume of data it contains. So this particular item, the order number, you can see the net amount is 1935, the quantity is this much and value is this much. So basically value arrow and data amount are the same fields. You can take something different like say average cost so here it will be defined uh, it looks, uh, looks great so here this particular item uh, the net amount is high because in the net amount scale it is in the last okay here in this range this particular item is on the top because in quantity scale it is high so its quantity is 1818 okay whereas its quantity is very less 179 but when you purchase the order based on the value of the order cost of the order and based on the number of quantity of the order what is the worth the entire worth of the order it's defined by the size of the circle okay so here there are various parameters we can come up here the bubbles the bubble size can define from the smaller to bigger data color so all we can define the individual data colors also this is not possible at all but yes one color is okay So this is basically called as a color by category. This is uh, this is called the color border. So uh, the circles this are showing here. This has become transparent, and the number of items showing here there is a border here. Now this looks really nice. So there are various items. So few items are here with size is bigger because of the average cost of this product is bigger. Okay. Here is also even bigger its average cost is 2 bigger okay. if you just swipe it from here average cost is to y axis so size size is defined by the average cost if you just swipe it anywhere it's a net amount if I just drop it I'll just define the net amount to size and average cost to here X axis, you will see some difference in the data. So, this is what we call as a scatter plot so now a few set of data can be shown on a single screen category by color means that means individual uh, items will be differentiated by different colors 
and the data size uh, bubble size can be defined here if you want to make it even um, bigger you can define it and there was a data label here no data label is not here Yes, category label. So individual products, uh, individual items has got the you know label which is plotted here. So all these uh, products all these uh, you know products who has the data here is showing here so this has the highest quantity and this has the highest uh, sales amount that's uh, it is called the scatter product
Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, here, this is uh, the um, scatter plot analysis.